Hey, what's up guys? This is Brian from Brian's Tech Therapy. I am here with Shane from Spare Change. Hello. Today we're doing a setup, unboxing, reveal, introduction of the Sony 8K Mini LED Master Series. Special thank you to Mr. Robert Zone of Value Electronics for supplying the Z9K for extended review. This is actually our very first video in our new studio in collaboration with Value Electronics. Shane and I will be shooting everything here from projector comparisons, TV comparisons, gaming, you name it. We're going to do it here, but first we'll be doing the Sony Z9K. We figured this would be a great start to our new studio. Be sure to check us out. Check out Shane at Spare Change in the link below. Well, let's get this unboxing started. What do you think, Shane? You excited? Let's go. Let's, let's do, do it. it. All right, guys. All right, guys, here we are starting the unboxing again. I'm Brian from Brian's Tech Therapy, formerly Whisper Status 74. Please consider liking and subscribing. We are real tech for real people. So here I am with Shane unboxing the 75 inch Sony Z9K Master Series. Like all Master Series, it is premium, premium built, very, very solid and packaged very safely. As you can see here, packaged well protected on all sides. Even though the environmental initiative is in place, you can feel the cardboard is there. Not as much styrofoam as we used to have. Bravo for Sony for keeping an eye on the environment. As you see us take down the back, you'll see the signature Master Series framing. They've had this style since the introduction of the Master Series with the Sony Z9D. Lots of cable management through the years with the Master Series. The Z9D being one of the more legendary LEDs from the past. The introduction or the reintroduction of the backlight Master Drive is back here as well. It was also included in the X95, which is the 4K flagship LED, mini LED, I should say. And here we are now with the backlight master drive again on the Z9K. This being Sony's first year's foray into mini LED on both the X95 4K flagship and now the first 8K mini LED. As you can see, being mini LED and being an LED, we are... A more thicker body silver trim here are the legs very similar to the same design as the others you do have different positions here we are with the camera that should work on the other K's in the series we'll show you how that attaches to the top of the Z9K again the packaging is well built here we have the backlit remote as well as the power cord and manual screws for the base. Now, as we've gotten further in, a lot of these um, the stands are much easier to put on than they were in the past. There's the camera. Very sleek, and when it's connected, you can barely see it. It will follow you around the room, perfect for zoom things that we use more now than ever. Now here we are with the different configurations. As you can see in the picture here, this is the highest configuration where a soundbar does fit underneath. The more sleek, flush design, which to me looks more premium. And then you have the inside design. For the more narrow stands, that one only has the one Elevation, obviously you don't need that for a soundbar and I'm sure for stability. It notches in, locks in, two screws and you're done. Again, the back of the Master Series. Master Series is not just a badge, it is build quality. Every Master Series ever made just feels more premium, more solid, more attention to detail. It's not just a badge there is more to it than just the price and name. Now here you see the HDMI's, you have four. 
one on the side, three on the bottom. This year you have 4K 120 on all three. You also have the 8K separate here. And there you have the mounts for a center channel. It also does have the center channel option in regards to the HTA9 and the other Sony soundbars that use that feature. I will tell you the audio is excellent on this. Wait till the end of the video where I will show you or present the audio. It does sound very good. Again, very premium. The display is very heavy. I will put those specs up as well so you have the exact dimensions. This is where the camera does connect. It must be a Sony camera. Very easy to install it. And there it is. This functionality is more important than ever as many people are working from home and doing more live. I'll be using this in the future, doing lives from the panel. Again, the screen is very well protected. And as we have the higher stand configuration here, wide and high, I do like that Sony includes the three positions, wide and low for a more sleek. There are the specs for the weight of the dimensions. And the inside is again, more flush just to give you that option as not everyone wants to mount their panels as we remove the plastic. Now it is a glossy finish. Once you see us take the plastic off, it does a good job with reflections. And you'll hear me say this throughout master series, build quality, legacy, you see that we have a glassy finish, but it does look very premium. For me, if it wasn't for showing you the sound bar option, I would have it more flush to the table as I feel it just looks more premium, more high end. But a sound bar does fit as I showed you in the picture. Now, as we move into the setup, I wanna be able to show you the backlit remote in a completely dark room as we are in the studio. And we'll run through the setup. We're not going to talk much about the setup. The setup is pretty standard if you've ever had a Sony. I love that first Sony introduction. It is very, very bright. I will say whenever you're doing any display, go ahead and knock out the eco, which will always dim your display. With the Master Series Z9K, you can see where it would really does dim it as we go here. Look at the brightness difference as I enable and disable it. There is also a room uh, luminance in the settings. You want to disable that as well. That is an extra step. As the Eco here is about saving power. The other option within the Sony settings is more to change the lighting according to your room, the auto luminance. It does a, do, it does a really good job, but it does darken the picture quite a bit, so I would disable that. There's the camera. Now, as we get through the setup, I like to show any new display straight out of the box exactly as you would see it. As we go through the updates, Samba and the like, and forgive the look of the studio, it is still under construction, but we are very excited to bring this to you. As we move into our first demo material, I like to start with something very punchy. Now here we are in the standard preset. This is exactly as you will see the Z9K out of the box. It Most Sony panels, the ones in the last few years, do come out in standard. What I will say about the cognitive processor 
is it has the flexibility of its picture settings to where even their OLED lineup, you can leave in standard if you like. I know that is blasphemy for the calibration community. However, the processor is that good where even something like old films can still look good in something as vibrant as standard. These are challenging demos I'll be throwing at the Z9K. Again, we are in a completely dark room. The blacks are very good. That transition is difficult and shows up more on camera. So the little bit of haloing you see isn't as evident as in person. Now I'll go back into the demo and show you exactly how the Z9K ships. These are the settings you will see as it ships. Once you are through seeing it out of the box, I would definitely wander into whether it's cinema or custom for the more accurate presets. Typically, standard is in neutral or more cool. Things like uh, advanced contrast enhancer are enabled. Local dimming will be on medium. Live color will be on settings of that nature that are very punchy, but they aren't very accurate. Always keep in mind that every manufacturer has its own signature. Sony is very distinct. The accuracy, their adherence to keeping things looking realistic or film-based. But if you like their look, it is beautiful. The Z9K feels like the superior version of that. I am an LED fan at heart. OLEDs have become much more affordable and accessible even within Sony's lineup in regards to their A90J, A80J, A80K. The Z9K stands alone as the true flagship in the AK lineup. As we move in here to the custom preset, making things a bit more accurate, you will see the Z9K does not lose any of its vibrancy. For me, loving LEDs, I want to let them also run wild. You can limit blooming, you can limit light bleed by making the panel as dim as possible. I think the trade-off is worth it for the higher peak brightness. Now, we haven't measured the Z9K yet. We will in the coming weeks. This is just the very first video. We will be following up with gaming and a comparison to the flagship X95K in the studio of the same size. Shane and I will return next week. I will also follow up with some gameplay on a console in the next week or so. Now, looking for a complete removal of blooming really isn't possible. Mini LED, things of that nature, they have improved it. It is better than it has ever been. I fully believe the panels back in the day that perhaps were better blacks in regards did lose detail. There was crushing of the blacks back then. What you're looking for now is the balance of a high peak brightness and Sony's way and their culture of shadow detail. That is what they look for. You'll see more cinematic demo shortly to show you the black bars. The reasoning you see demo material from us as creators as there is no ability to show you film due to copyright. So while you'll see more full screen demos, we will go into good friend Jennifer Gala's content, which does have a very uh, wide aspect ratio. Now, my first impressions is it is very, very bright does take a while to get used to it. Specular highlights do pop. And again, it's seeing the same uh, Sony signature that we've seen this last year, but seeing it pumped up. Now we are only looking at 4K content here. We will see 8K content on the Z9K during the Value Electronics shootout at the end of July. 
And again, very special thank you to Robert and Wendy Zun. Check the description below for all other information and please consider making your next AV purchase through them. Ridiculously kind of them to allow us to film the Z9K and then bring it over to our studio, which we are in collaboration with Value Electronics and spend this much time with it. Now we will challenge the blacks right here with the Z9K, very challenging demo. And it does behave amazingly. If there is a challenge with the Z9K in terms of blooming, it isn't so much a haloing around the objects. It will almost light up the area, but it does it gradually. As you can see here, it does it gradually, but makes it look like the entire image is brighter, kind of reducing the hit as you see around the glass. It's not so much a handling, it just brings it up. Not like elevated blacks, just almost making the whole image seem brighter, hiding some of that. But very impressed with this black level. But I think the trade-off of having a panel so very bright you are going to see some of that spill of light blooming will never be eradicated though i think the z9k does an excellent job this is also the 75 inch we will have the 85 inch in a few weeks we will revisit the z9k again well at 85 inches when it arrives at value electronics my opinion is leds do behave better at larger sizes due to the increased zone count Now, viewing in a completely dark room, it is amazing how it will light up the entire room. But being so very bright, you'll have no issues in a bright room. And again, showing you material in a dark room is a test and a challenge. It is how I view in a dedicated environment. We will get our hands on some native AK content, unfortunately. Um, can't show that to you right now. As we transition into Jennifer Gala's content, check out Jennifer's challenge, uh, channel, as well as the HDR Super channel. And you can see that the aspect ratio in this footage changes and the black bars are still black. There is a slight glow, the brighter the image is in the middle of the screen. Still impressive, but again, very, very bright. There is going to be not completely black. There is slight glow wherever the screen is brightest. If you were going to go with LED of any kind, that is a trade-off that we have to be realistic about. Now, for you Vivid fans, especially with LEDs, I love to revisit this for you. Again, blasphemy for the calibration space, but I do like to flex very, very bright LEDs for you guys. Not everyone that watches wants the most accurate image. I like to show both sides. What I do like about the LED lineup, mini LED lineup, even more than the OLED lineup from Sony, is the change in presets is the flexibility when you change a setting that's the camera picking up the 8k that's why you see that that's not the screen when you see uh the flexibility and settings that'll go away in a second everything from local dimming um gradation hdr versus brightness preferred is vastly different on the led than it is on the oleds from sony when you transition from brightness to preferred to gradation preferred, it's a massive difference. OLEDs, it's very gradual. So what I like about the LED is being able to make it as accurate as you like, but let it be, let it run wild. Let it be as flexible and vibrant as you want it to be. That is my favorite part about the Z9K is you can make it look very accurate and then make it look like the absolute monster that it is. Sony's processing is on another level. We have not talked much about gaming, but it is VRR and auto low latency mode out of the box. No update necessary. I will follow that up again next week. But I'm looking forward to Sony's presence in the shootout this year. 
If you have input or anything you want to say to Sony, also keep in mind that Robert works very, very closely with Sony engineers on their products and on these panels. Leave a comment for Robert and we'll try and get that feedback to Sony. We will see the engineers and um, met many of them last year at the shootout. Again, very challenging. And even as I brought this demo, I was still in Vivid and I'm going to move it back down to custom. But you can see how it even handled the blacks well in Vivid, which is very impressive. And these transitions, again, are very difficult for any backlight. I would say in films like Pacific Rim or um, Thor Ragnarok or Aquaman, you will see amazing specular highlights. The beauty of having this studio is to be able to sit there with our theater chairs and watch movies and give you a proper analysis on panels that we cannot bring home due to their size. That black level is beautiful. And again, the LED lineup for me does give you the actual, not the perception of brightness due to its contrast, but gives you real 3D dimensionality. It really does give you that separation. Moving into our next uh, demo. These are beautiful demos, very clean, very different colors throughout. At the end of this demo during the sunset, I will go back into standard and show you the flexibility of the image. Around the 24 minute mark, we are going to go into Jennifer Gala's demo material with the volume. I love the sound of this panel. I'll put the specs of that in the last part of the video. But look at the color. Look how beautiful the image is. Now, does the 8K add anything to the image? Hard to tell that. The extra pixels, especially at this size, it is very clean. It is very detailed. We'll see the difference go against the 4K flagship. Again, the X95K next week. We'll be able to see that at the same size. Now, here as we are at the, the uh, HDR apps, we'll pause here. We're going to come back, and I'll show you when we get into the sunset how you can change the image and make it look so different. And then we'll rerun the end of it. Bring up the settings again. You can see easily just how much brighter and punchier we can make it, especially with the HDR tone mapping. The steps of color, incredible. All right, guys, I am going to say goodbye at this part as the next few minutes will be purely sound. Thank you so much for watching. Again, special thank you to Value Electronics. Check the description for all their information. I will see you guys in the comments. Let me know what you think of the audio portion of the end of this video. But what a beautiful image. This is only the very first video of the Z9K. Again, we'll be revisiting it when the 85-inch releases. Gaming comparisons coming up. I'm very impressed and very happy with it. Again, the flexibility of image, live color, advanced contrast, local dimming, brightness preferred. All these change the image greatly depending on your tastes. Flexibility is key. We'll go back in here and show you how punchy the image can look. Let me know what you guys think. Is AK on your radar something you are looking at it? Something you are considering, I should say. Look how beautiful that is. All right, guys, thank you so very much. Again, look at Jennifer's content. You'll see in a few seconds. This will be the audio portion. Take care. Love you guys.